this is my first long form video so I would like some feedback on the comments and well while I build this simple scene I would like to explain modularity modularity in Godot is about breaking down your game into small reusable parts called modules each module handles a specific task making your code easy to manage and reuse using modularity in Godot makes your game easier to update bug and expand it's like creating with Lego blocks. Once you build one piece, you can use it over and over again, wherever you want. For example, let's say you have a player character. Instead of putting all your code in one place, you can split it into smaller models. One model for the movement, another for the player health, and another for the animations. Now, the cool thing is, if you need an enemy character, you can reuse all these modules and code without writing it again. Just attach the movement module, the HP module, and the animation module, and it's done. The enemy will be capable of doing everything the player can, and also have its own logic in their script. Now we will put modularity into test. First we create our health component script, we create a class name for it and export max health for easier management the, of the max health. We create a new variable for our current health and we do function ready health equals max health and create a new function for when you get hit by any attack to reduce your health you do parent.qe3 I mean get parent.qe3 and now we're going to do a progress bar for our enemy we will put some basic setup you can do whatever you want with your style. With this progress bar, we will make a module for our progress bar. So we can attach to any object in our game. Then we add the script to it. And we do export L component, health component. Wait, where? Health component test two. Then we create another export variable for our size y and size x. We name them integers and also name them variables. Then we add two new unready variables one for mean size y and another for mean position y this is more of a math stuff so you can ignore it if you are not doing a progress bar and again this is some math to make the position beyond the place I want so you can ignore it, I'm just showing how to make a, comp a component and how to apply it. Then we set our max value to max health and our value to max health. Size to vector 2, size x, size y. And then for the position. We do vector 2, size x slash 2 times minus 1 and min mean position y. Then we can set our size y and size x. And if we test it, uh, okay, we forgot to attach our health component here and now it's working now 
we can move our player more to the screen so we can see him. And now we will make them lose life and also update the progress bar. So the progress bar will update every frame. And here we will make another function process to call the it function one. We will change the max health for each object. And as you can see, even without the progress bar, it's working. We save the progress bar component as a scene and we attach it to player test too. So we can see also how, how it is easy to apply the components. Okay, there is an error. That is weird. Oh, okay, because I saved it as a scene is removed the attachment. 